Some faceless account came over to my videos and is telling me about this channel here called The Truth Prevails, which is just slandering Sasquatch Ontario and um, trying to make it look like he's not real. You see they only have eight subscribers, so they're really not gaining any uh, foothold thus far. It's December 12th, 2019. But it's very funny that... Uh, they're claiming that these are vocalizations released on SoundCloud that the owner of the cottage is um, is is using as proof to say that he's the voice of Nefertia. But I want you to hear, I want you to hear it, and then I want you to hear how loud the Nefertia voice is in this one video out loud. Can you say I am not real? I am not real. Power. <clears throat> I mean. I can do that. Lower my Cree. I mean, anybody, sorry, I have a sore throat today. Anybody can friggin' do that. Plus, I was just doing it to see if I could do it. And my, my throat's a little sore. But to do that over and over again, listen to this. Listen to Sasquatch Ontario out at four in the morning. I mean, that pretty much proves it to me. The deep breaths and the screaming and the yelling, you can do something close to a voice recorder camera outside and and try to impersonate it for, you know, a word or two. But to do that vocal range for that long, I just, I'm not buying it. I think this Truth Prevails channel is blackmailing somebody or they're, see, they're getting the cottage owner. They've got some some quotes, I think, in this video right here saying, oh, give me a break, he's got to go fund me, I'm the one that funded this, I paid for this. See, people get jealous when you start making money and you don't give them any. And that's exactly what it's all about. So if the, the cottage owner kicked him out, one, because they were having people stalking him, um, and he, I think he just didn't want it, but whatever the case, um, you, you know what I mean? I, don't, I, I just don't think it's a hoax. And I don't think that the cottage owner is, uh, is doing these these vocalizations uh at that loud at four in the morning and sneaking up unheard in the woods i just don't believe it um so anyway this is a faceless channel the truth prevails here they're on my video trying to say you said this on my video you said that people can't do you know this or that you should watch this one sasquatch ontario what is wrong with ontario they're making fun of timber giant bigfoot they're making fun of all of these Ontario researchers, which is totally ludicrous. Uh, Timber Giant's legit. I think Sasquatch Ontario is legit. So it's just these faceless people using a bunch of words trying to s slander Sasquatch Ontario channel. And, um, you know, I just, I still think the guy has legitimacy with the weaving, that video, Apes Don't Weave. Mike didn't weave those friggin' things. And, and those gifts that were left and the marbles. All that stuff. There's the Fur and Cedar channel who went out to interview Mike Patterson and he said they were marbles falling out of the sky right in front of him. Like just manifesting right there, dropping out of the sky from nowhere. So the legitimacy is trying to be covered up. There's a huge cover up of Bigfoot and now they're attacking Mike Patterson because he has um, 
achieved ultimate interaction with Bigfoot and the cottage owner is jealous or the cottage owner is scared and being harassed. Same thing happened to me with my family when people started calling up and harassing my mother and my family members. My mom's like, take that video down from our house. Uh, you know, do this and that because it gets scary when you have strangers harassing you just like faceless morons who are running this channel. So anyway, that's what happens when you reach the truth and um, the truth will prevail regardless of whether you put up a channel claiming to be the truth. This is the lie here. They got the, the, you know, the bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. That's what they're doing. They're trying to divide the community right now. But don't kid yourself. Mike Patterson has amazing finds. The footprints in the snow that just show up are real. Marbles falling out of the sky are real. The, uh, the Bigfoot weaving those, those gifts for him out of, in the dead of winter, mind you. In the dead of winter. Pliable uh, plant material being woven into these gifts that, that they're giving him, that's totally legitimate. There's also a picture on his camera um, where it's it's the wintertime and the camera is like a summertime picture. And they're like, how the heck did that just show up on there? I mean, if you've done enough research into Sasquatch Ontario, you already know how legit it is. Plus, a guy was on my channel telling me, oh, it's a fish eye. Uh, it's just a fish eye. That my patterns that the owner of the car just said that he took but um, I'm just gonna show you this here that's not a fish eye that's not a fish eye right there so I don't know what exactly it is am I doubting it's a Bigfoot not really um, I think it potentially could be but with all the other amazing interactions that they've had just one single footprint just showing up in the middle of the snow like that um, yeah I don't know I just don't think it's a I don't think it's a hoax, you know? Who knows? Maybe they're paying the, uh, you know, if, if, if Sasquatch Ontario is going to go fund me and he's trying to get 50 grand and the owner's not getting a piece of it, maybe the government offered uh, the cabin owner 50 grand to uh, say it was a hoax. And there he goes, gets his money and uh, they get their goal achieved. You just got to understand how things operate. Uh, but Sasquatch Ontario has presented so much information. I just... Uh, I don't know. I just don't think that he's a, he's a hoaxer, and I'm not convinced, especially when you got some faceless people like this channel out there just um, trying to slander you at every turn. And I mean, it's pathetic when he's talking about these uh, these Ontario researchers right here and talking about timber giant Bigfoot among others. Um, it's just it's jealousy, it's hatred, and it's um, it's slander. So putting it out there so people can understand what's going on. But, um, I, you know, they're trying to ruin Mike Patterson's character. You know, good try. I don't care what the guy's done in his past. We're all human. We're all imperfect. Um, they're trying to claim he had a criminal past or he was violent against somebody. You know, hey, life happens. You do what you got to do. But if you're having an interaction with Bigfoot, um, that's pretty amazing. And I think the views on the Sasquatch Ontario channel, I mean, look at this. The most he's gotten is this 288 on this guy on this Truth Prevails channel, and most of his videos, 17, 35, 29, that ain't shit. What about Sasquatch Ontario? How many views is he getting on his videos? They're also, they're complaining now, look at 99,000, 26,000, 44,000, that's because it's the truth. It's because he's got truth in there, and he's showing truth. He wouldn't be getting these videos if he didn't have the truth. Um, but, you know, people are jealous. You get the orbs in the pictures. Um, which is another legitimacy. You get orbs right here in the in the photographs. You know, it's just you can't you can't knock this guy. You can try, but you're not changing my mind. And I just wanted to speak out in defense of Mike Patterson and the truth of Sasquatch Ontario. And if it comes out that I'm wrong down the line, I'll admit it. I'm man enough to admit it. But I just so far I'm I'm not convinced at all. I just think people are jealous and I I understand there's been a cover-up and there's been harassment and there's been people around the property and Mike's talked about it in his videos. So uh, update yourself on Sasquatch Ontario and the plight that this man has had and have a nice day. Thank you for listening.